spitting at you live from the heart of Europe and, of course, on demand. This is another episode of In the Crease with me, Tommy C. How are you doing out there? We're going to be covering hockey, our new format in this, what I would like to call a beta show. We're going to be coming covering the world of hockey, last night's scores, on a regular basis. Then we'll be going into the stranger news that's going around uh, the world and what have you. Welcome aboard. Like to have you. What we're going to do from now on is keep... Look, what I'm trying to do is I'm, gonna try, I'm trying to find a format for this. I'm trying to do this. This is a work in progress. It's a show beta. So we're going to do hockey right off the bat. And from there... We'll do strange news, and of course, I'll be playing you some of the artists that I have found on SoundCloud and what have you. To I don't know, bring 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 the uh, the, the local artists at an international level uh, to you all in the YouTube world. It's uh, well, you know what, you know what that means to me. Let's get right into last night's uh, National Hockey League scores. Right off the bat, uh, let me jump to it, and did I not prepare correctly? Ah, no, of course. So, of course, I use the Puck Daddy website. Uh, I enjoy it thoroughly and what have you. Um, let me let me start off, and uh, of course, it, it, if you've listened to Shot from the Point before, by the way, I got the Shot from the Point class, check that out. Um they are mortal enemies, but I do enjoy going to the website. In a goaltender's duel in New York, Henrik Lundqvist pitches the shutout. Jimmy Howard making things look epic over there. New York Rangers surprise the Detroit Red Wings, beating them one to nothing. Nashville four to three over Philadelphia. This game featured something incredible. Hopefully, I can bring it to you right now. Uh, I hope this is stretched out the way it should. Well, we're going to find out because last time this didn't work. And like I said, we're a beta. We're showing progress. I'd like you to check this sucker out. This is one of the more incredible saves of the season. And we've seen some incredible saves thus far. Here you go. Check this out, folks. Oh, and a strange bounce out in front. And what a stop there by Hutton. Carter Hutton came back out in front. Don't. And took away what appeared to be a sure goal. There's going to be a penalty on the play. Whoa. But when Carter Hutton looks back on his career many years from now, <laughs> that might be the highlight save. <laughs> I guess you're not giving much you're chance to stay in the NHL. For a shortstop on a ball getting through the infield, Pete. Carter Hutton caught out of the net thinking the puck is going to go around behind the net. He hits it with his own stick. He knocks it out. And then the Philadelphia Flyer player who's cruising down the middle and the Flyers going on. just throws it right off the net quickly. And I think I might have been Matt Reed. So leg one in the box for the trip. Absolutely incredible save uh, out of there. Um, uh, Carter Hutton, who's not really, um, I don't know, he's not the uh, the big name in the uh, National Hockey League that, that we all know, but this really is a spectacular save by Hutton. It happens quick right away. I don't know if that was a little choppy for you over on the live broadcast, but um, you might be able to check it a little smoother over here on this part of the video right now. Check out the replay. Very stunned Philadelphia Flyer right there, of course. And here it is again. He moves from behind the net. Really misplays the thing and then jumps in front and makes the, uh, the, the recovery to his mistake. It's always fascinating to me when goalies make incredible mistakes and cover up for them that they uh, get. They, nobody mentions the fact that they misplayed the puck in the first place. Uh, Mike, the great Mike Richter once said that all those great saves you saw is when I was actually out of position. So, uh, but nonetheless, big shout out to Carter Hutton of the Nashville Predators. They go over the Philadelphia Flyers. Four to three. Uh, a wild one in Ottawa. Montreal five to four in OT over the Ottawa Senators. If you have Game Center, check this one out. It was back and forth and crazy. P.K. Subban netting the lat, the final in overtime. 
to put the Canadians over Ottawa. New York uh, Islanders, 2-1 to one over the Tampa Bay Lightning. San Jose Sharks, 3 nothing over the Florida Panthers. Los Angeles over St. Louis, 4-1. to one. Edmonton, nightmare continues. They go down 4-1 uh, to one to the Minnesota Wild. This game is important because it marks Ben Scriven's first game in the National Hockey, no, excuse me. It, 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 this is the first game he's played for the Edmonton Oilers since he was dealt from the Los Angeles Kings. Ben Scrivens, who took over for the injured Jonathan Quick in the Los Angeles Kings. He was quickly dealt after Quick came back uh, to Edmonton. Edmonton can use anything they can get in net. Um, unfortunately, Scrivens is not enough for the defensive problem and other problems that they're having in Edmonton. Tyler Sagan, always a memory, a, uh, some say a positive memory. He's having a great season in Dallas, but he does not beat his former team in Boston. Boston beats, uh, what is with that refreshing? I'm not digging that. Boston beats Dallas 4-2 to two in other scores. Winnipeg trounces a extremely uh, weak and... I don't know. It's just they knew it was going to be a rough season over there in Calgary. Five to two over Winnipeg over Calgary is really not much to say there. New Jersey goes down to Colorado two to one. And in a uh, game that saw Hendrick Sundin um, leave a little early, a rough one over here. But Phoenix survives one nothing in Vancouver. Games tonight. You'll see Washington at Columbus. Ovechkin will warm it up for you. And, of course, a big game tonight. Uh, I think that would be 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Anaheim, Chicago, a possible Western Conference final over there. Um, very, very cool night in the National Hockey League. Goaltender stools all over the place. If you don't have Game Center, get it. That's how I keep up. And I do it with the Puck Daddy. Glad you could be listening, whether it would be live and or on demand. Uh, if you want to give, well, you can see it. This is YouTube. Welcome. Ah, uh, Let's get right into the music. And then we're going to have something. Uh, we're going to have a lot of stuff going on uh, as far as uh, I got some stuff planned and things of that nature. This is Harry Globin's Army. A song about former Ranger Jeff Bookaboom. This is Harry Globin's Arme. It was. I'll tell you what's going on here. Oh, it's a delayed start. Great MP3. Thanks, Richie. Thanks, Richie. I think you sent me this, or did you? Harry Globin's Army. Song about Jeff Buka Boom. Here we go. Get nuts.
Are you up late in the East Coast, in America, in North America, Canada, hey, maybe even Mexico? You're listening to In the Crease with Tommy C. We've got a new format. I think I'm going to pretty much do an hour a day here on the Shot from the Point Productions channel. Cover hockey and go into the uh, other issues. So what I'll do at the end of each show, I'll let you know when the, the next one's coming. I... um. I'm struggling to come up with something really killer for this. Of course, the, um, our, I don't know, our flagship show is, of course, um, A Shot from the Point, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard on Sundays. And we do, let's say, that does not look great, does it? Let's just fix that right there. Okay, much better. Uh, 6 p.m. Sunders, Shot from the Point Live. Uh, we cover all the week in hockey in only the way that Shot from the Point can. Of course, with... Legendary comedian, legendary Jake Link. Uh, we do the the week in hockey, and of course, we have just uh, we are just ironing out the final touches of interview with Puck Daddy reporter and Vancouver Sun writer Harrison Mooney. So that's going to be a big guest. He is our enemy, our mortal enemy, um, but he's being kind enough to kind of check us out. So check us out 6 p.m. Sunday. Uh, shot from the point. Uh, shot from the point live where we do it every week. That's pretty much what started this whole channel and uh, where we're going from here. Like I said, I'm struggling to come up with things. So I figure sort of weird news and, and things of that nature um, would, um, would I don't know, I think it, it makes things more interesting. That's what I don't know. I don't know. I don't, what do you want from me? I'm not a pro. There, there you go. All right. Let's see where we're at here. Ah, I have some, uh, I have some interesting stuff. This is actually pretty funny. I, don't know, I guess this is in the vein of uh, Joe Cronin, the Joe Cronin Show. Uh, I got this from Chris Tazovich's uh, webpage. Um, and this is Jim, Co I guess he's a New York, uh, I'm assuming he's a New York uh, weatherman or something. I, from the East Coast, I would watch New York stations, but I've never seen anything quite like this. It, here's what I call it. It is pro wrestling weather. A vignette from hell. I will speak no more. Watch this. Snaky, snaky. Snaky, snaky. Snaky. Well, I got something for you. I'm going to pound you with two parts hydrogen and one part oxygen as we stroll on in through the nighttime hours. And then I'm going to drop the snow hammer upon you, upon that <laughs> scaly little tailpipe of yours. So then what are you going to do? Well, let me tell you what you're going to do. You're going to find the ground up pig schnouts, horses tails, at Yankee Stadium tomorrow at 105 for first pitch with the Tigers. They're called Stadium Dogs, and oh, they're oh so delicioso. Get the ketchup, relish, and uh, mustard while you're at it, too. Then I will pound you again with more of the snowfall. And if, if, for some reason, they haven't caught your scaly tail yet, I'm going to get you soaking wet again earlier next week. So what do you say to that? Snakey, snakey. Snakey, snakey. Oh, he's a cobra? Eh. I got little or no idea what that man was talking about. I have no idea. I don't know what snakey, snakey. I, I, you know, it's, the problem with me is I, I've lived in Germany too long now. And that's why I'm broadcasting. It's something like four o'clock in the morning. Uh, oh, geez, what is it? Uh, three or four? Actually, yeah, about four o'clock in the morning for um, you folks over in the East Coast. <laughs> I don't know what's going on over there. I don't know what's up with the with the snaky snaky. Uh, this is something I got from the Hussing, also from Chris Tazovich's page. And I, I really, I don't know what to think of this it's from the Huffington Post. And check out their website. A woman named Keisha loves sucking dirty diapers on My Strange Addiction, which is apparently some kind of reality show. Um, it looked pretty gross uh, when uh, Tazovich posted it. But after seeing this video, which I don't think I can run because it's uh, I, I don't need TLC coming after me. Even these guys go after YouTubers so much, they'll even, even if we're going to advertise their stuff, 
they're going to look to give a strike. So I'm not going to do this. So I'm just going to run down the web page itself. Um, Keisha over here apparently sucks on dirty diapers. Uh, she's addicted to the taste of dirty pee. Phil diapers she developed the taste for two years ago, according to an episode of My Strange Addiction that had Jared January 15th on TLC. Uh, after I saw the uh, the video here, which I invite you to go see on the Huffington Post, I totally didn't buy it. I don't know if this is true. I think it might be just some kind of shock value scripted reality show. Um, I don't know how long you could actually do that. And I noticed there's no, you just, she's, as far as I know, she's sucking a Kleenex there in this picture right here. So I don't know if I buy it. I'm covering it because it's the only, it's probably the biggest, strangest news in the world right now. I, actually, it just kind of grosses me out. Um, but I don't know, there doesn't seem to be anything too terribly strange. I think I could do better than this. Uh, what do you think? What have you? Like I said, we're going to be doing about an hour a day. NHL, weird news, and things of that nature. And if you could, give us a sub. Subscribe. Let us know how we're doing here on this new experiment. I'm pretty uh, comfortable and complete with uh, what we do on Shop in the Point, but it was, I don't know, time to grow and no, no, get on the air a little more and do some other stuff. You know, it's tough to be a DJ when nowadays, in a traditional manner, we can't get on the radio anymore. Everything's so corporatized and what have you. And it's not easy to, um, I don't know, you don't find the traditional DJ. So I thought YouTube would be a good opportunity to be a traditional DJ. Spin music, go over news and what have you. I grew up in the land of Howard Stern, Don Imus, and even Wolfgang. Uh, Wolfgang. That's just a relative, excuse me. Wolfman Jack made appearances in New York when I was a kid. Always been fa fascinated with the world of being a DJ. This is my opportunity. It's my dream. I'm not doing it for money, but I would if I could. Here is John Freeman. This is the road. Check it out.
much having it out, everybody. That's the Machado for John Freeman. If you don't know who he is, he is the official music support for the Top Point Production Channel. Uh, he's done a lot of great work for it. Please check him out. We're actually coming to the end of our broadcast right here. What we do is we do a half an hour a day. We don't have a time limit, so to speak. Uh, but the daily shows will be about a half an hour. And I'll just go over what the things that I find interesting throughout the day and spin tunes. In the meantime, we're actually coming to the end of um, our broadcast today. Uh, wrestling fan, wrestling fan, uh, check out Joe Cronin, the Joe Cronin Show. Joe Cronin is always on top of the world of wrestling, along with his partner, Chris Tosvich, the encyclopedic mind, if there's a word, the encyclopedic mind of the world of the smarts, the world of WWE, professional wrestling, independent, you name it, Joe has it covered. This Sunday, please check out our show, me and Jake, Legendary Shop from the Point Productions, we covered all the hot all the hockey. Every bit of it. Uh, at least the big stories, anyway. All the hockey. Please, please, please check us out on Sunday, 6 p.m. Right here on the Shot from the Point Productions channel, our flagship station. i also like you to check out, look up uh, Evan Bartles. Evan Bartles, we've played some of his music in the past. Uh, he's also available on SoundCloud and what have you. Um, and I think... I think that is it. That's what we have. Like I said, I guess maybe this is just a, a hyper audio blog. <laughs> it's an audio blog on speed. Most people go in and whine about their girlfriends. It's like, I just don't understand why the world is this way. Why do girls, oh, when, you, when you're nice to them, they don't want anything to do with you. But if you're mean... They'll be all over you. Yeah, that's stuff like that. You're not going to get that here. I talk about hockey and weirdos. That's what I do and what have you. Uh, anything else going on out there in the world? What say you? How say you? I am Tommy C. And you are listening to the one, the only Tommy C. In the crease with Tommy C. It's time to say goodbye, folks, and I appreciate you tuning in, whether it be on demand and or live. We end it right here. Of course, we always end it with the Connery Pirates. See you around, everybody. Next show. Next show. Look for us. How do I want to do this? Do I want to? Hmm. Because it's the first to be announced show in history. That's what it is. So you can tune in. Oh, it's a good time. It's going to be Tuesday. Definitely going to be Tuesday. All right, here we go. Here it is. 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, the next In the Crease episode. I'll be making it and putting it up on the Shop from the Point Productions channel. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you, John Freeman, for your music. And I'll be searching the, uh, the SoundCloud world for, uh, to bring more unsigned artists to you. And only the good ones. You got to pass the uh, Tommy C. seal of approval. I'll see you 7 o'clock Eastern Standard for the next time you see, should have a lot to talk about. More information on Harrison Mooney. And we'll see where that goes from there. Thank you very much, everybody. Good night. <laughs>